All rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. Welcome to the WDCS announcements for Tuesday, March 28, 2023. Today is an odd day. It is also National Black Forest Cake Day. The word of the day is 86, yes to number. It's a slang phrase whose origins are unclear, but it means to reject or dismiss or remove someone. After his read comments, he was 86 from the group chat. Chess Club will meet today in rooms 1221. The Women's History Talent Show is tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. The suggested donation is $4. Ooh. And now for our Women's History Month fact of the day. Decades ago, magazines and newspapers ran a lot of ads for household things, appliances, clothing, food, etc. These ads were often very sexist against women. Take a look. This is an ad for an airline that focuses solely on their attractive flight attendants. This ad for coffee makes a joke out of domestic violence. Yeah, real funny. Am I a woman enough to eat a man's mustard? What does that even mean? Again, this ad for a recipe book makes fun of domestic violence. The second sentence says, most husbands nowadays have stopped beating their wives, but what can be more agonizing to a sensitive soul than a man's boredom at meals? Hmm, I don't know, being beaten maybe? This serial ad says, keep up with the house while you keep down your weight. Seriously? Wait, if you blow cigarette smoke in my face, I'll follow you anywhere? Do these people even know a woman? An appliance ad that tells women to circle what they want for Christmas and then cry a little to make their husband get it for them. Yes, I can open a ketchup bottle. A small child can open a ketchup bottle. Ah yes, the old, you're aging so getting less attractive trope. In this case, they're applying with a dish soap is ruining her skin, making her husband grow bored of her. And no, I do not want a vacuum for Christmas. We have a lot of sports fans here at DCS, so this week we're going to look at some crazy sport facts. NBA fans know how dominant Michael Jordan and the Bulls were, winning six championships in eight years, but they were only the second best team in terms of dominating the league. Back in the 1950s and 60s, when the NBA was still young, the Boston Celtics went on a run that has still never been matched in any sport. They won 11 NBA championships in 13 years, including eight straight. The last two championships of that run were earned while their star center, the legendary Bill Russell, also served as the team's head coach, becoming the first black coach in NBA history. And now for today's Fogo news story. Many of us have probably read or seen one of the many versions of the Robin Hood story. The legends are based on at least some truth. There was a real Sherwood Forest and there were real sheriffs in Nottingham. Recently, a British man was using a metal detector in a field located near the Sherwood Forest in a town of Nottingham. He got a signal and after digging for a while, turned up a gold ring. He thought it looked special and asked the British Museum to investigate. He determined that it belonged to Sir Matthew Jenninson, who served as Sheriff of Nottingham from 1683 to 1684. Around 500 years after his first appearance of the Robin Hood legend. Thank you for tuning in, Hans. Have an epic day. I will see you tomorrow. The museum let him keep the ring, and he put it up for auction. It ended up selling for around $12,000. And that's a wrap.